Hey, it's Jo. So for today's video, we are going to talk about stars who lost major weight for a role. So first in our list is Tom Hanks for his film Philadelphia in 1993. Tom Hanks lost 26 pounds for his Oscar-winning turn as AIDS patient Andrew Beckett, as in Beckett. <laughs> Beckett be, Beckett ni man. Okay, next is still Tom Hanks for his role in the film Cast Away in 2000. Tom Hanks again took it down a few notches on his belt in Cast Away. If he lost 26 pounds for his role in Philadelphia, in Cast Away, he lost 50 pounds for his role. And he reportedly went on a very, 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 very strict diet. If you've watched the movie, you'll see the difference. I will also insert photos of Tom Hanks in Philadelphia and also in Cast Away. You will see the drastic change on his looks especially on his body. I've watched Cast Away and sobrang payat niya doon. As in, napaka, it's believable na na-stranded talaga siya doon sa island. I mean, grabe. Ang hirap din maging artista, no? Next on our list is Matt Damon for his role in the 1996 movie Courage Under Fire. Matt Damon reportedly lost 40 pounds for his role as a soldier in Courage Under Fire opposite Denzel Washington. Ang payat din ni Matt Damon dito. You'll see in the photo. Next, ito talaga ang pinaka-nakakalokang transformation ever. Not ever, ever, but one of the most drastic I've seen to date. Christian Bale. For his role in the 2004 movie, The Machinist, Christian Bale became frighteningly thin for The Machinist. He lost 60 pounds. My God. Nakita nyo naman, I'll insert a photo. Sobrang ting-ting na siya, as in tingaling-aling, ding-dong. As in lahat ng ribs niya, kitang-kita, parang wala na siyang bituka, tuyot ang peg ni Christian Bale dun sa movie. This would not be the only time he would put his body through an extreme transformation. Going to similar lengths for his part in The Fighter and Rescue Dawn. Not only that, after dropping 60 pounds for The Machinist, he needed to bulk up. Not really bulk up, but he needs to gain weight for his role as Batman. Biruin nyo yun from the Tinik version. <laughs> Sorry. From the Tinik version to Batman. Grabe. Drastically, nag-drop siya ng 60 pounds para sa machinist. And then, kailangan niyang mag-gain ng weight para maging Batman. Grabe yung dedication ng mga actors na to, no? And I've also read in an article na Christian Bale is a method actor. So, talagang ninanamnam niya yung role niya. Kumbaga, tulad nung sa machinist. I believe, ang sabi dun sa article, he can't even walk a flight of stairs. Dahil sobrang payat niya. Dahil sa sobrang payat niya, wala siyang energy. Wala siyang nutrition sa katawan. So, ni pag-akyat ng hagdan, hindi niya magawa. Sobrang, of course, kinawawa yung katawan eh. Butot balat. So, hirap na hirap talaga siya. And, as you can see in the photo, pagkatapos sa machinist, boom! Batman na siya. Diba? Grabe yung, kawawa yung katawan niya dito, pero grabe din yung transformation niya. His dedication for his craft is to the roof. Best actor. Next is Beyonce, si Queen Bee, for the movie Dreamgirls in 2006. 
Beyonce dropped 20 pounds from her bootylicious body with the help of a cleanse for her role. Next is Michael Fassbender for his role in the 2008 movie Hunger. Michael Fassbender dropped an alarming amount of weight to play IRA hunger striker Bobby Sands in Hunger. As you can see on his photo, para din siyang si Christian Bale, butot balat din for the sake of being casted on his role for the Hunger movie. Next is Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis slimmed down by 20 pounds for the ballet thriller Black Swan in 2010. As you can see, hindi sobrang drastic yung difference pero ang hirap magpapayat ha, in fairness. Next is Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman also slimmed down for her role on the movie Black Swan alongside Mila Kunis. So si Natalie Portman yung bida, yung Black Swan dun sa movie. Sobrang ganda. Next is Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen slimmed down considerably for the film The Green Hornet in 2011. Unfortunately, the audience for that movie was a bit small. So, well, nevertheless, at least, diba, ginawa niyo yung best niya para maging believable yung role niya sa The Green Hornet. Next is 50 Cent. For his role on the movie All Things Fall Apart in 2011, 50 Cent looked more like a thin dime after dropping 50 plus pounds to play a football player with cancer in the indie drama All Things Fall Apart. Dun sa photo, hindi masyadong worry yun yung pagkapayat niya. Pero for sure, kapareho lang din to nung ginawa ni Christian Bale. Na as in, rib galore. Makikita nyo talaga yung ribs. Next is Anne Hathaway. For her role in the 2012 film Les Miserables. Anne Hathaway opened up her mouth to sing. But apparently, not to eat much. For Les Miserables. Shedding around 25 pounds. Not to mention, a whole lot of hair in one harrowing scene for the Oscar winning role. Kasi dito sa role na to ni Anne Hathaway, ginupit niya yung buhok niya ng, ano bang tawag dito sa gupit na to? Almost buzz cut. Although medyo mas mahaba sa buzz cut, kumbaga sa atin ang tawag natin is shete, ba Yung pang lalaki, parang ganyan. Next is Matthew McConaughey for his role in the 2013 film Dallas Buyers Club. Matthew McConaughey upped his profile and won practically every possible acting award including an Oscar after dropping nearly 40 pounds to play a Texan with AIDS for the Dallas Buyers Club in fairness. Sobrang payat niya. As you can see on the photo from muscles to almost to speak. Ang payat niya. Grabe. Next is Jared Leto. Jared Leto was Matthew McConaughey's co-star in the movie Dallas Buyers Club. He also shed 30 to 40 pounds and um, he also won his own Oscar in the process. So, diba? Both actors won an Oscar for the same movie. Kumbaga, that's the fruit of their labor, their hard work. Ang hirap magpapayat, ha? In fairness. Next, is Zoe Kravitz for the film The Road Within in 2014. Zoe Kravitz weighed just 90 pounds at the time of filming for The Road Within, having lost 20 pounds for the part. But she revealed that like her character in the movie, she too had struggled with anorexia in her real life. So 90 pounds lang siya. Nung nag-start silang i-shoot yung movie. Pagkatapos, nag pa siya ng 20 pounds. So, 70 pounds lang siya during filming. 
kaloka. I mean, I understand na kailangan mong mag-lost ng weight para sa movie. Pero, buti nakakaarte pa sila, no? Parang, ang hirap yatang umarte pag gutom ka. Tapos, walang sustansya ang katawan mo. Katulad nung kay Christian Bale, buti na iarte pa niya. Buti gumagana pa yung utak mo. Nasa wisho ka pa. ba? Diba? Kasi, minsan pag gutom tayo, tayo ay hungry. So, yeah. Ang payat din niya. Kita-kita dun sa yung ribs niya. Next, itong pinaka nakakalokang nakita kong picture ng aking my loves. Next is Chris Hemsworth. Tingnan nyo yung itsura niya dito. Nakakaloka si Thor. Biruin nyo yun. Naging ganito yung itsura niya. Parang yung muscles niya na ubos. This is for his role in the 2015 movie In the Heart of the Sea. Chris Hemsworth shocked as in shock kahit ako na shock talaga ako the internet when the Thor hunk revealed the dramatic weight loss he endured to play a shipwreck survivor in the fact-based period drama In the Heart of the Sea nakaka-shock naman talaga yung itsura niya pero um yun, buff na buff yung muscles niya pagkatapos naging kamukha niya si Tom Hanks dun sa Castaway in fairness next is Liam Neeson for his role in the movie Silence in 2016. Liam Neeson shed some serious weight for Martin's historical drama Silence. Mind you, Liam was 65 when he filmed this movie. And he said at one point he took his weight loss too far in service of his part for the movie. Napaka-unhealthy para sa 65 years old yung mag ng too much weight. But as an actor, they are dedicated to their role. So siguro naman after nung movie, healthy living na siya ulit. Kasi diba, hindi na bumabata. Yun lang mahirap pag-artista ka. No? Although, may choice naman sila kung they will accept the role or tatanggihan nila. But magaling din naman siya dito. Actually, hindi ko pa napapanood. <laughs> Napanood ko lang yung mga excerpt dun sa movie, yung trailer. For sure naman, maganda yung movie. Next is Lily Collins for her role in the 2017 movie To The Bone. Lily Collins had struggled with anorexia and bulimia in her own life. But she said that losing weight to play a woman suffering from anorexia was important to do justice to the role. She worked closely with a nutritionist to ensure she actually gained the weight back. I actually watched the trailer of this movie sa YouTube and sobrang payat niya. May nabasa pa akong controversy na hindi dapat niya ginawa tong role na to kasi masyadong delikado for her because she herself is already suffering from anorexia and bulimia. Tapos, di ba, kailangan pa niya magpapayat para dun sa role. But then, sabi nga niya, there's a nutritionist na nagmamonitor sa kanya, kaya na-pull off naman niya yung role. Next is Taylor Kitsch for his role on the 2018 movie Waco. Taylor revealed on the Ellen DeGeneres show that he lost 30 pounds to play cult leader David Koresh in Paramount Network's limited series Waco. According to Taylor, he get 50 calories at breakfast and then he would go for veggies in the mid-afternoon to chicken broth after 4 o'clock. And then he goes for a run which is awesome. Last but not the least, Joaquin Phoenix for his role in the 2019 movie Joker. Joaquin lost 52 pounds to play the role of Arthur Fleck, the troubled and deranged comedian who becomes the iconic Batman villain Joker. This was shortly after Joaquin beefed up to play a hitman in Lynn Ramsey's You Were Never Really Here. Joker director Todd Phillips told Vanity Fair that Joaquin resembled a bird from the Gulf of Mexico having a tar rinse off its body. That's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you on my next video. God bless you all. Bye!